You are watching Beyond 100 Days with Nifemi Yoguntoye. You can join the conversation right now on X using hashtag Beyond 100 Days. Remember to tag at TVC News NG. We're following closely developments in Oyo State where the body of the Olubado of Ibado has now been buried at the Aliwo compound. Earlier, we told you that Obas and Council were present at the event and traditional worshippers were seen performing rites at the graveside. Sympathizers were also seen waving goodbye as his body arrived at Aliwo compound for internment. He died at age 81 at the University College Hospital in Ibaro. Governor of Oyo State, Shei Makide, who made the announcement in a statement, described the late monarch as an epitome of royal excellence and a great achiever during the two years of his reign. He expressed his condolences to the Ulubadan Council, the Oyo State Traditional Council, as well as the people of Ibadan land and Oyo State, praying to God to grant repose to the soul of the deceased monarch. And President Bola Tinubu has also condoled with the family of the Olubado, the governor of Oyo State, the Olubado in Council, the Oyo State Traditional Council, and the people of Ibado land and Oyo State over the loss. President Tinubu celebrates his remarkable life of service to his people, the state, and the nation. He says, quote, he was passionate, courageous, and an unrelenting advocate of the pristine ideals of peace, honesty, and unity. His wise counsel will be sorely missed at this time in the life of our country. And quote. He asks all who are mourning to find solace in the immortal legacies of the Olubado, stating that he, the um, deceased monarch, lived eternally, or rather lives eternally, in his good deeds and in the memories of everyone touched by the majesty of his essence. I'm joined now by TVC News correspondent Olaido Iwale, who's been monitoring events since um, the barrier service kick-started earlier today. Olaide, let's begin with the mood in Ibado. You mentioned that commercial activities are usually put to a, a halt on a day like this. Uh, what have you experienced thus far? So, so far, there was partial closure on market and uh, among market women, but especially um, the places that are close to um, where the um, Olubadon, the Olubadon was living. So um, there was partial, partial closure. I we cannot take away the fact that um, we still have to consider the economic situation of the country. So um, those women did not totally close up their shops, they did not totally close up their markets and their stores. So what they did was to take a more like a cover to cover all of their markets just to symbolize that and their market has been partially closed. Nathan. What are dignitaries saying about the late monarch? Yes, of course, the, 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 the president, the Olubado in Sansu was present, the, um, the brother of um, the late Olubado, um, Kola Balogun, who was the senator, was present. The, Deputy Governor of Oyo State was also present, and other traditional rulers were present. And one of the major things they mentioned was that, um, the, regardless of the short time that the monarch stayed, he lived an exemplary life. He contributed um, so so well to the traditional institution of of the of the, of the state and the ancient city of Ibado itself. Had three different kings alighted in less than a decade. Is that unprecedented? Well, well, I think that that is that, uh, it is coming more like it happened uh, coincidentally because we cannot we cannot hold the end of this. We do we do not know when death is going to take anybody. So that must have happened at um, point at this point in time. Well, we should not also take away the fact that some of this. Um, Monarch um, gets to the throne at a very old age. So with that, we know that the, uh, their age is not um, at their side. So uh, when death comes knocking, when uh, the obvious comes knocking, there is no way, um, there is nothing anyone can do about it. So I think that that has just happened because um, it has to happen and because we cannot hold the hand of death to take anyone away. So at this time, we, we, we expect that... Uh, the next in line to the Olubadon will come through, and then um, he will be announced as the Olubadon, and we, we expect the governor and the Oyo State government to do that. Okay. 
Absolutely. The last time I checked, Ladoja was trending on number four on X. And, you know, I'm sure that he might not necessarily be the next in line. But what are you hearing about the succession plan? So now, the, the Ladoja you mentioned, um, Ladoja, of course, after this, is the next in line. So according to the structure, structure of um, ascension in Ibadan, there are two major senior ITs who are next to the team, which is the... Uh, or two Olubadon and the Olubadon and the uh, and the Balogun and the Otun Balogun, which which the both of them represent the civil and the military line. Of course, the king and the Olubadon that died um, ruled as a civilian king, as a civil king. While the next one who would be uh, who is next to the who is in line now as the king is uh, the military. The military is going to rule as a military team. So um, the match now, you know, it has to be promotion upon promotion. And when this, when um, the team dies, the next in line, who are the chiefs, are going to get promoted to the next, to the next. So um, La uh, Ladoja, the former governor of your state, was um, the Olubadon. So of course, he is going to get promoted to the position of the Otun Olubadon now, which makes him the next in line. We do not pray that the king now dies on time, but we all we all know that he's the next in line. After this thing. Yeah, very interesting development because you mentioned that the late monarch, you know, is from the civilian family, but he answers the name Balogun, which makes it quite interesting because that's the name of the military line, isn't it, Olaide? Of, of course, that must have happened because of some historical antecedents and perhaps... Uh, uh, the, the great grandfather of Olubadon, even before they get into the line of Olubadon, had um, fought war several times before. And you know that then the Balogun is actually the warlord. So perhaps before they got into the line of Olubadon, they had, um, I am just saying, they had, um, they had their great grandfather, grandfather who fought wars, and because of that, they must have given them Balogun and all of that. But I do not know. Uh, what is behind, behind the name Balogo? But I know that the Balogo is someone who has warlord in their family. So that must have been because they had a warlord in their family, not because and um, they are uh, not because it, it is in tandem with uh, the monarchical system of uh, the Badon. So that must have been the reason I am just saying. But uh, uh, we just hope that uh, he rests well. Yeah, we all need a little Depending. history lesson to, you know, fill in that gap. But what do we expect to happen in the coming days, you know, as part of the succession process? Of course, we expect that the state government announces the next, uh, the next thing, who uh, is the Otun Olubado, with, with the Otun Balogu, of course. And then the next, of the Otun Balogu presently is I Chief, uh, if I can remember his name. I can't really recall his name, but we expect that he announces and the or your state government announces the next uh, the next thing. Mm. Of course, that should of course be done while they are still trying to get the state very prepared for the late monarch for Lubadon. So we expect mm. that in a couple of days or weeks, the or your state government would announce the next in line, uh, which is your state. I mean, which is the um, uh, or Subalogo to the Olubadon. I think the name you were looking for is Owolabi Olakuleyi, right? Who is expected to be... I mentioned, yes. yes, I mentioned it earlier. It's expected to be the next in line. It's expected to be announced as the next Olubadon of Ibadan. Who will be ruling as the next thing, uh, the civilian, I mean the military thing. All right, so uh, we're counting to down it. to um, th that official announcement of the 43rd Olubadon of um, Ibadan. Thank you so much, Olaide, for the updates there.